We're back with more Power Boating in Paradise TV featuring the Key West Offshore Poker Run. We're over 140 teams headed from Miami to Key West. I'm riding on board with Trent Fisher from Texas in this 43-foot Nortec. Here's Randy Simpson from Texas in his 39-foot Outer Limits team talking trash. Here's John Woodruff and first mate Nancy Hancock in the 48-foot MTI team Winship powered by Mercury Racing 1350s. This is George and Ann Ariano from Ocala, Florida in the latest addition to George's extensive powerboat fleet. Join me in making a very special welcome to Sharon Henley from Lighthouse Point, Florida in her 38-foot cigarette team liquid asset. This is Larry and Rachel Vincent who trailered 1,600 miles from Oklahoma to join us for their first Key West poker run in this 36 skater out Gato. Let's welcome Robert and Lisa Marcelona from New York in their 39-foot cigarette Top Gun, Team Silverback. Jim Wiley is one of our longtime Florida Poker Run veterans, running his 39-foot Outer Limits GT, powered by Ilmore 725s. Warren Foreman came all the way from Texas to join us in his triple-engine 47-foot Fountain Lightning. He's a regular on the Emerald Coast Poker Run, but it's the first time we've seen this fountain in the Florida Keys. Here's another seasoned Poker Run veteran. This is Mike Maggio from Chicago in his 46 cigarette Rough Rider, team driven. Here's Danielle Bloom, our second lady power boater on the run, and also the second team named Talkin' Trash. Justin Baishol attended the Key West Poker Run in honor of his late father, Bill Baishol, who was a big supporter of this event before passing away last summer. Let's welcome newcomers Matt and Tara Wilman, who trailered 1,300 miles from Iowa to join us for their first time in their 38 Donzi ZX Daytona. Here's Tim and Treva Irwin from Ohio in their 38 cigarette Team TNT. This is Fireboat One, which is being brought into the safety management program for the Key West Poker Run. The boat is strategically positioned near the entrance to the feather beds with the hoses blazing high in the air, giving our poker runners that helpful visual to slow down and pass through this shoal area safely. For the last few years, the Key West Poker Run has actually had its official kickoff at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show, and the high-performance dock at the Bahia Mar Resort location provided the perfect venue for this dual-purpose party. One purpose was to give the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show visitors and the FPC members and show exhibitors a chance to gather in a social setting, talk shop, and have a little bit of fun. The second purpose? Well, we'll divulge that one in just a minute. Meanwhile, here's a few video clips of some of the showstoppers at the High Performance Dock. MTI had their all-new SV42 custom center console on display, complete with quad Mercury Verado power, a spacious custom cockpit, and of course, company owner Randy Sism on board as your personal tour guide. Just 50 feet away, Nortec High Performance took over the large footprint that once was Cigarette, displaying the full line of their latest center consoles, the stylish 42 Monte Carlo, and the sporty new Nortec Roadster Cat, powered by Mercury Racing 1350s. Sensation Power Boats from Michigan also turn heads with their new 34 center console, powered by triple Mercury Verados. The new model incorporates some radical design techniques and features a spacious cabin beneath the console that leaves people in shock when they climb in for the first time. We're going to see all these boats running or on display at the upcoming Key West Poker Run. Elsewhere in the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, at a total of four different locations, you can pretty much be assured of finding everything imaginable in the world of boating, fishing, cruising, and yachting. It's no secret that the city of Fort Lauderdale is the self-proclaimed yachting capital of the world, and after walking around these docks, no one would ever dispute this claim. The show captivates everyone who attends, whether you're shopping for a boat, picking up some accessories, or just getting out of the house or the hotel room, 
Show management has proven once again that this event has something for everyone. This show just keeps getting better. We'll return with some cool video clips from our new DJI Phantom Drone. Then we'll have highlights from the Halloween costume portion of the Miss Key West contest. And of course, more scenic powerboating through the Florida Keys.